Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with again, and we're back for some more EU4 as the Prince of Prussia, who is currently trying to uh, ransack the Protestants. Uh, we have two Protestant centers of reformation there, and we have a um, reform center there and a reform center there. So we're trying to eliminate these two Protestant reformation centers right now. They are in Bremen and Hamburg, and that's the war that we've got going on. Let's uh, continue things there. I don't know what it will take to actually get these guys independently out of... Yeah, 64% war store, so we will do war reparations and take all the cash. Oh, oh, not all the cash. I wish we could take all the cash. We need 100% war score to take 1118 cash, force re re religion, and war reps. Wow. That's amazing. And our three-star general hanging out in Bremen. Uh, we get the Dithmarschen, the vassalizing that happened yesterday, or last episode. Um, it is... Uh, He's only got 4,000 men, so it's going to take a while, because I think this is probably a... Oh, uh, come on. Come on, why are we not seeing the profits properly here? There we go. It's, yeah, it's a level 3 fort, so you're not getting through there anytime soon. So, uh, we can call Austria. No thanks, quality of the troops is impressive. Gain 10 prestige. Riga, done the siege there, that's good, but Riga is the actual uh, war goal, so we will not be doing much with that. Uh, you know what, we're going to leave your troops there. We might actually vassalize you or, or uh, absorb you. You're going to head over to, to Amberg. Uh, we don't care about the disputed thing, but mind you, we do have, you know, Ansbach out of a random disputation. Is that the word for it? Probably not. Probably just good butchery. Uh, we're going to wait on that because there's a lot of cash coming. Estates uh, modifier expired. Fine. Okay, we have a slot available, the military dude. Um, discipline or morale? I think we'll go... Let's check the estates, see if they have a... Um, no, minister would be... Oh, that's right, he's a diplomat. We have no military di ministers from them. Uh, could we afford... We could afford to, to dump, dump the 100 points here, couldn't we? Yeah, down to 37.06, and it'll gain... Uh, 0.13 per month, so not long and they'll be back up. That's fine. Uh, and then we'll grab the discipline guy because he's worth the point. Claims fabricated. Disloyal states now. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I just caused that. Uh, ports blockaded. Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, I suppose that would be annoying if they keep blockading it, but what do they got there? Two light ships? Hmm. When you go crush this thing. When you go crush those ships. And then you can come back. Da 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 da. The state clergy modified recruit inquisitor. Cool. 49% of the Bremen will break. When they do, uh, there's those two ships gone. When they do, we have. Uh, where are my ships? Where are my ships? Where's the navies? There they are. Go back to work, please. Taking trade in the mighty. Center, Prussian center of Lübeck. Uh, we do have a lot of forts here. I wonder if we're overdoing it on the forts. I like having the forts, though. I mean, if they're not costing us exorbitantly, maybe we should keep them. Still making 12 bucks in the middle of a war with fort maintenance costing us 10. With our 10 fortresses active. That's beautiful. And the level 3 uh, administrator. I think, I think it's okay. We can survive. Uh, so, Bremen. Let's talk, buddy. Let's talk. Mr. Bremen, you are 49% to force religion and war reps. And how much cash you got? A thousand and three. It's almost got as much as Hamburg. Clearly, it's been too long since we beat you guys up. Uh, I want you to break your alliance with Hamburg, for sure. And you can... I think we'll leave your alliance with... The... Oh, we can't break the alliance with Hamburg. That's too much for him. He can't stand it. I wish I could force him to not be a free city. Actually, I don't want him to break the alliance. I might leave Riga intact so I can start a war on this again, and next time, that's what I'll do. We'll, we'll do this stuff to them. That's going to cause a lot of time. 1568. It's going to be a 13-year truce. That's not bad. But there it is. 
The centers of reformation are collapsing. Dum 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 dum. I mean, I did that right. Did I? Yeah, look at that. He's now Protestant. No more center of reformation. Nah, 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 nah. I'm the only one true faith, and you're not. All right. Military access from Brunswick. Sure. Who's Brunswick at war with? Bohemia, Silesia. Oh, hello. I should help you. Bohemia, Silesia, and Bosnia. It's Hungary and Brunswick. Oh, Hungary. How are you still even alive, sir? Where are you? Are you still even alive? Serbia. This is Hungary, right? Yeah, these, these two provinces are Hungary. Oh, these four provinces are Hungary. Jeepers, you're huge now, man. Five provinces. How did you manage to hold on to five provinces after all that? Moldavia's got your provinces, dude. Man, you sucked. Uh, I don't know if Austria... Um, yeah, the decline of Hungary. That's the mission that ends up letting them try to force a uh, overlordship of Hungary. That's, that's quite funny to me. <laughs> They're so beat down. Sad. Very sad. Very, very sad. Uh, one siege and you have... Three siege. I to switch up. Good. All right. That'll help. Uh, no, we're not going to be the defender of the faith. We are, you know, inadvertently being the defender of the faith. Uh, disloyal states. They're getting there. Thirty-seven point seven. They might even be there before the end of the war. Uh, so we've been going a gift, a gift from our friends, the naive enthusiast, eighty coins, Austria. That's fantastic. Um, rebel uprising, Danish separatists. Where are they going to be messing around? In uh, up here. You have the fortress then. Do 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 do. do. Uh, unrest. Yeah, we got a little bit of it, but we should be able to curb stomp it before it gets uh, too bad. I mean, curb it, not curb stomp. That's rude. 361 dudes every month is not great. We really, really want to put our next. Uh, speaking of which, our next technology. We're only at a 5% penalty now, so I think we will go with Tech 12, bringing us up to ahead of time. Nice. By only two years. Uh, so we're really not that ahead of time, but we can change over our troops, which we can go ahead and do because there is like zero army on the enemy side at all. Six ships, apparently. Uh, oh yes, Hamburg still has a fleet. We'll go mess around with. Uh, it? Yes, changing the ships or the the guns. Uh, free shooter infantry who are three morale, they're more focused on the attack line, or tercio infantry, or more defense line focused. I think the balance, I prefer the balance of morale, it's usually what I like to go with. I don't know that there's much of a difference, I don't think I know the game that well enough to know that. We have some pretty good uh, ruler or leaders, it's pretty impressive. 38% now with the, uh, no. Poland has embraced colonialism. Well, it's about time, Poland. We did it, like, years ago, and by that I mean, like, two years ago. <laughs> uh, we are, should be getting close to this one. Come on. Um, why are we not seeing the institution? Show the province. Show me the institution of printing press. There we go. We're getting the printing press in a lot of places. 20%, 29%, 76 54 Yeah, that's good. We'll get it probably before it hits about 15, 10 to 15%, uh, which is good. We won't really have to spend any more. These guys should be back to some semblance of loyalty in a year, I think. We're gaining 0.12%. So whatever that is, you know, math in public. Bad idea, kids. Right, the way we have a new technology. It just said we don't need to spend, but we do have one, so maybe we should spend. Because it's only five percent penalty, and it'll give us a giant. We have a head of, uh, neighbor bonus right now, and it'll get us uh, upscaled. So I think we will go ahead with that. Oh, a national decision. We still have the plan to conquer Silesia. Pass Popery Act. Is that like the smelly stuff? 
reduce Catholic influence by offering money to anyone willing to witness against Catholic priests or bishops that has been apprehended performing religious services. Wow, a little, uh, little aggressive, but okay. Since the mechanic in the game is wonderful, morality might be uh, questionable, but, you know. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I know we're suffering casualties. I'm quite aware that we are at war, and the rebels are... Not quite placated, are they? Who's not here? I think they might actually... Yes, they might actually be depleted now. Nope. Nope, they're not. Alright. They won't actually go down. Nice to you. Will that be enough to balance it out? 2.5... 0.02. That's unfortunate. Ah, Siege of Hamburg is one. Well, that'll solve the problem. Move you guys up here, move you guys up here. Rebel situation taken care of for free-ish. Hamburg situation taken care of. There's the eight ships. Thank you so much. Now go back to making us a ton of money. Send him back there. Now, before the time ticks, I want to see this. The trade is 24.87 with the ships on military service, or naval service. And when they go back to being guarding the merchant marine... Oh. Herring runs out. We're out of fish? We are. We're full of herring and we cut... Oh, oh. You could catch them with a dagger. We lose 10 prestige. Grain will now be produced in the province. The skein market will be removed. Oh, that's sad. We lost the big trade bonus in that area. Oh well. Tis sad, but is history. Uh, Alright, so we have this war we can finish off now. Hamburg. Uh, clear the off and make sure we do this right. Force religion. War reparations. 1623 bucks. Well, we can't even do that because that's over 100%. We gotta actually lower it just for the percentage. We can see it through the haze there. 1200. A nice, cool, even 1200 ducats. More than doubling our funds and getting war reps from them, which will probably be a good chunk of change. Uh, income rate now for war reparations 231. Oh, I didn't check that trade difference. Oh, it hasn't ticked yet. So $2.31, 2 ducats 31 from um, from war reparations before this trade deal goes through. And now the Hamburg trade deal, it'll go till 71 for the truce with them. But we can always leave them, we're leaving them allied with Riga if we end Riga with just taking war reps or whatever. And what'll happen is Riga's time, war timer will tick down much quicker. Then we can war them again well before these truces are up, and these guys being their allies should join in. 100% uh, though, 1,200 ducats. Boom. Prussian Conquest of Riga, part two, finished. Uh, and no more centers of Protestant Reformation. Ah, that's wonderful. Okay. So they actually lost mid-stride what they were trying to break for Protestantism, which is cool. Uh, the reform uh, over in, was it Bar? No. In Hainault is actually still going on. Unfortunately, the one in Bar was broken by the uh, um, somebody taking over and forcing religion against them. They're reformed again, though, which is weird. State religion is Catholic, though. I don't know how that happened. But uh, I didn't see it happen. But anyway, so these guys are still working on, on tra trading over the northeast side of almost to Paris, actually. Everything east of Paris has already been converted to Protestant. Or to Reform, rather. I think it's all Reform, right? Yeah, this is all Reformism. And the Protestant faith will uh, eventually start to get converted over either by its nations to Catholics or by the... Um, or to Protestants that are Reformed. And the states that we... Provinces that we have here that are currently Protestant will not be increased in number because nothing's going to force our country to become more that way. Now let's look at that cash. Three, so we get 70.7 something from Hamburg. 0.92 from Hamburg. 0.8 from, from Bremen. That's th those two provinces war reparations, or those two countries, one province mind, war reparations are worth more than most of our states for profit. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, we don't need to keep working on Bremen. We just don't. We can fabricate a claim there. That'd be nice for next time, because we will be taking it. And I want Hamburg to do the same. 
actually fabricate claims in the provinces now. And uh, we'll remove those dudes. But uh, we're about to been a productive episode so far. We're not even uh, we're not even at the end of this one. We'll keep going. Let's see. The war. Bremen. Take Bremen. Take Hamburg. Got it. Uh, this war, we are going to... If we do nothing, our allies are happy, which is weird. We gain a favor. As soon as we start doing something, they're like, oh, you're getting stuff? I don't care about it anymore. It's weird. So we're going to leave him intact. We could make him a vassal. That would be fun, but we're not going to do that for financial reasons, or for uh, future military reasons. He's only allied with Bremen and Hamburg. We'll leave him intact because we want to uh, reward deck him. And let's see. Yeah, it's 62, so it'll save us six years on the... Uh, that's, this comes up six years before um, Bremen's and about, what was it, 71? So like nine years before Hamburg. So we can go as soon as Riga's uh, truce is over. Oops. As soon as the Riga troops, the truce ends, then we can... Uh, Get back at these guys, do the stomp again, and actually take all three provinces. So, in the meantime, we still have a truce with them until 64, with Gotland. We may look at uh, Sweden and or Norway as potential options. Norway is at war with Sweden and Scotland. Sweden is at war with Livonian Order in Norway. Ah, oh, that's right, Livonian Order. How are you doing, buddy? Let's keep time for it. Uh, you have a truce with everybody on the eastern side of the or western side of the meridian, whatever. You're not at war with anybody in North America, or you don't have a truce with anybody in North America. That's a thing. Uh, our truce ends one of the latest at 60, so we're still another four years before we can go after the Livonian Order. We could go after, consider, um, we should probably look at building spy networks here and here to start our expansion to the north. We have an idea group available, excellent. The Postal Service. People, you can get mail if you're in Prussia. It may cost you three arms, four legs, and a diplomat, but you can do it. Um, that's their diplomatic points. It's nice and cheap. Full humanist. Oh, right, yeah, having humanist ideas gives us a 10% reduction cost, I love it. So 40 power points we save every time we click one of these buttons. I love it. It's so powerful. Uh, the rebels in Denmark have been all but squished out. They decided not to do their nasty things to us. Uh, how are we doing on coalition? We still have the uh, a few people that are over the threshold. Uh, actually, only... Looks like only maybe Sweden, Denmark. No, Sweden's not even. Denmark 79. Well, that's kind of expected. You're, you're Gotland Island. That's all you are left of the, the, being the great, mighty Denmark. Um, uh, Hamburg. Or Hungary is except sweet, peace with Bohemia. Hungary will cede that, 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 and that. No, three of them to, to Bohemia. Fourth one to Bosnia. Renounce claims that how can you do anything more than that? You're already like gone Conversion successful. Is there anything left? Of him? Oh, yeah, there you are. There's Hungary Hungary is the province of Varaz It is a Protestant province of Varaz Which could easily become Croatia on its own. That's fantastic uh, So Bohemia has a lot of breaking up to do and I think it's going to be important. They are probably one of the biggest potential threats right now. Poland is not interested in us. Bohemia does hate us. And, uh, like, Poland's like, eh, we don't like them too much because they're heretics, but they're not, like, these guys have been a rival since, like, day one. They want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It says, and one more. And, uh, then they desire, oh, one of our subjects' provinces to boot. They want 10 of our provinces plus one of Ansbach's province. I feel like you're getting a little uppity, sir. Um, Sweden, Bosnia, Poland, and Silesia. I think we've done enough this episode. I think what we'll do is try to spend some time recouping our... Um, not our funds. We have a few of those. We'll try to spend some time recouping some of our military. Get the... I'm thinking twenty or thirty thousand manpower would be good before we even get before we get our, our hands wet with another our hands dirty with another fight. 
25 months we can change Magdeburg. These are provinces all that have been converted previously by the Protestant Reform Reformation centers and they can slowly be becoming available for us to convert. So these just join the Catholic League. Okay, as long as we don't join a league, as long as I don't click that button or that button, it won't matter. None of it will affect us directly. Apparently everyone wants Bohemia to be the emperor. That could turn bad. Um, why is Austria in trouble there? I think they may have a... No, they don't have a female. Sometimes if they get a female online, that causes the problem. Why is... Huh. They're really not doing well for this whole imperial control thing. Apparently Bohemia is the only Catholic that's uh, standing a chance here. I mean, they are doing a lot. Bohemia's done better than I've seen them in almost any other game I've played in Europe. I generally don't see Bohemia do much at all, and they end up getting stomped. So, okay, so so the plan for next episode, I think, will be to uh, look at potential expansion points, but primarily to hit Bohemia. Like in this case, we'd be at war with Lorraine, Switzerland, uh, Saxony, and Bohemia, or we could go after Silesia, which would be Salzburg, Liège, Silesia, and Bohemia. We don't want to attack directly to Bohemia because they have Poland as an ally and Sweden. So. But that'll be uh, that'll be next episode. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed destroying the the uh, Protestant Reformation. Well, not destroying it, redirecting its minor errors. That's what we'll call it. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, and as always, we'll see you in game.